Hi everyone, let's get right into a reading, so whatever the cards want to say. Please keep in mind I do channel a few different energy groups on here, so only take it if it resonates. This may or may not be for you. Do not try to make it fit. We have King of Wands, Three of Cups, the Star, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups. Ooh, okay. What's going on here? Hmm. Two of Cups, Four of Cups. It's definitely a third party situation. Bear with me, guys. Okay, I had to stop and ask my pendulum if the King of Wands and King of Cups is the same person. Because one potential storyline I am getting for some of you is that this was someone that cheated on you and all the energy, all the love you gave to this person, it's gonna come back in the form of somebody else. But for like 80 or 90% of you in this group, I actually feel like the King of Wands and King of Cups are the same person. So I feel like this person was a player, emotionally unavailable, uh, very, maybe even a little bit narcissistic. They prioritize their image above all else. They really cared about their appearance. I'm getting especially their physical appearance. Like this wouldn't, this isn't somebody that would go to the store wearing sweatpants. Um, this isn't someone that would just be themselves and, you know, people can take it or leave it. This is someone that portrayed an image and they had a different image with different people so it's like they would play a role they were never just genuinely themselves they really strived to be liked to be to be wanted to be desired to be looked up to it's like their image was their priority I feel like okay so I feel like this king of wands was not only a player but I feel like they wanted to be a player like I feel like it's such a strange energy I'm picking up, but it's almost like this person wanted people to see them that way. They wanted people to see them as desirable, as seductive. They they didn't want to be, it's, it's really weird, but it's like this person didn't want people to see them as a good person. I feel like maybe it was a defense mechanism. It's like they didn't want to be vulnerable. They didn't want to be emotional. Um, if people believed that they were just a player, that they were just a piece of garbage, it was easier for them. It's like they, they felt like they wouldn't get hurt that way. Um, yeah, it's really interesting energy I'm picking up there. I mean, it's like they wanted to be seen as a player, but not necessarily in a toxic way. Like they want to be seen as a, a seductress or a seduct, you know, someone that's very seductive, someone that's very charming, powerful, charismatic, somebody that can have any woman or any man that they want. It's like they had a certain image. It's, it's almost like this person got hurt a lot in the past and then they developed this whole persona based on that. They're like, if I can be this person, if I can be this king of wands, no one's ever going to be able to hurt me like that again. If I can put on this image, you know, because maybe they saw that in other people too. Maybe they saw, like, let's say this, this man went after, and it could be two men, it could be two women. Don't get caught up on gender. If I say it's a, a man and you know it's a female, just take it as it resonates. But I feel like maybe this man dated women that were that way, that were very shallow, very... Uh, egotistical, charming, uh, very surface level relationships. And I feel like this King of Wands saw that those women, th those women got what they wanted. I feel like this King of Wands saw that those women got what they wanted. They got, you know, money, love, people were chasing them. And so I think this person kind of took after the toxic people that they dated. They're like, you know what, it's my turn. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be the one to be charming. I'm going to, I'm going to one up people. I'm going to be the one to be chased. 
Um, and I feel like they had their fun. I feel like this person was actually very disloyal. I feel like this person might have cheated on you. I feel like this person entertained other parties. They they put their image, they put these superficial connections and this this these superficial ideals ahead of your relationship. It was more important to them at the time. And I feel like they've actually healed that. I feel like they've gone through a karmic cycle and they've wrapped that up. And now they're trying to come back to you as the king of cups. They're, I, I feel like this person is basically back to being their true selves. They've gone through it. They experience that side of life. They experience things through, you know, the perspective of their exes. They played those roles for a while and it didn't really get them what they wanted. It wasn't as successful as they thought it was going to be. They, they tried that for a while. They tried that lifestyle and I feel like they were very lonely. They were very empty. It's like I think they would go out and they would just come home and they didn't have anybody. They didn't have anybody to talk to. They didn't have those deep connections. Eventually, I think this person had an epiphany and they're just like, this isn't me. This isn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be charismatic and powerful and charming. I thought I was going to get everything I wanted, that I was going to be the one in control, that I was never going to get my heart broken again. And instead, I just feel like, you know, detached from my soul. I just feel like I'm not my true self. I feel I feel empty. I feel lonely. And I feel like they did the healing work to, to end this cycle, to end this pattern. And they are a king of cups now. They are more vulnerable, more emotion, more, more emotion. They are more emotional. They're getting back in touch with who they really are. Um, I feel like this person's wanting to come back to you, but I feel like they might have... They chose something over you. It, it was a third party, whether it was family member, a lover, um, their image, maybe all of the above even. Tell me more about this. Yeah, they want to come forward and they're they're not going to take no for an answer. They want to build something with you. But I think that you remember, I think that you remember how it was with them. You remember being breadcrumbed by them. And so I think you're going to put up a wall and you're going to say, you know what? I'd rather be single than go through that again. I'd rather be single than be breadcrumbed than be with someone who's emotionally unavailable. Yeah, you're going to be the queen of swords. I think this person from your past is coming back around, but I don't think you're completely open to it. Yeah, because it was a burden on you and it was it's a burden. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. Like this person might have severely damaged your sense of self-worth. This person might have really damaged your your self-esteem, your mental health. It's like Ten of Wands is like you can't carry anymore. Like you cannot, like you've given up. Like you're exhausted. You have no fight left in you. This is, it's like this man, this person can't carry this. This Ten of Wands is like, it's like an ending. It's like, it's like they, they drop all these sticks because they're like, I can't. Like I am just, I am so worn out. Like this person really mentally damaged you, emotionally damaged you. Um, like I said, they breadcrumbed you, they they put you on hold, they had third parties, they cared about their image. I think that it was just a very selfish energy where it's like they didn't really they didn't really think about how their actions were going to affect you. It was all they had this image. They wanted to be the king of wands, like I was saying. It's like they had this idea in their mind of of um Things just backfired on them. I think they had this whole plan in mind. Like, I'm going to be the king of wands. I'm going to I'm gonna be the one in charge. I'm going to be the one in control. I'm going to be the one to get whatever I want. And it just backfired on them. It did not go as planned. That way of living was not what they thought it was going to be. Um, and now that they realize that, they want to come back to you. But I think you're just enjoying being single or you you don't trust them. You feel very guarded with them. You're like, I remember what this was like. I remember the toll this took on my mental health, on my emotional health. I remember what it felt like to be breadcrumbed, to feel like I'm never good enough. I remember what it felt like. This Queen of Swords is saying, I remember what it felt like to, you know, deal with these third parties, to, to constantly um, just 
have to compete for someone's love and attention and just feel like it's just never enough. They always want something else. They always want somebody else. Okay, so tell me more about this. So yeah, whoever this is, this is someone you're very guarded, very distrusting with. And it doesn't mean that you don't have love for them. I mean, you could still love this person, but it's like you don't trust them. You don't feel safe with them. You know, you you have this trauma from how it was before. You you don't really believe that they can change. You don't believe that they would ever prioritize your relationship. You don't believe that they they could ever stop being a selfish person. Tell me more about where this is, relationship is going. Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. They want to offer you, so in the past they cheated, or they, they, they weren't loyal, they weren't stable, even if they didn't cheat, but they want to offer you love, they want to offer you loyalty, stability, they also want to be the emperor, this is like the daddy energy of the deck, like they want to be in a masculine role for you, they actually want to um, be dominant and be assertive in the right ways. Twin flame or soulmate connection. They want peace. They want happiness with you. Page of swords, the tower. See, because the thing is, I think their perception has shifted. I think their perception has shifted because before it's like they were so, they were just so focused, so fixated on being the king of wands on like they didn't even see relationships. It wasn't to them. Love was just a game. They were just thinking, how can I get all the attention? How can I get whatever I want out of people? You know, it's a killer be killed world out there. Like they were not in a romantic mindset when you guys were talking or, or hanging out. So it's like everything you said just went in one ear out the other. Like they weren't really understanding you. They weren't, you guys were not on the same page. Sorry. You guys weren't on the same page. So it just, it just feels like it's almost like they couldn't see you. It's like, I, I get this in like the energy I'm channeling. It's almost like you guys were like together and it's like they had true love right in front of them, but they were so focused on these other things so focused on their image so focused on even if they felt a connection with you they still wouldn't have seen it from a romantic perspective they would have seen it as like oh I have feelings for this person I better fight this I better make sure I stay in control I better make sure I one up them I better make sure they can never leave me it, it's like just just not a very romantic perspective but I feel like things have shifted. So now that they're in the King of Cups again, it's like they're seeing it differently and they're like going back and they're like, oh shit, like I had true love right in front of me. Like it was that easy. Like what was I thinking? I completely missed the boat, you know? Um, they're seeing everything differently. They're seeing you differently. They're seeing love in general differently. Something happened recently um, or the past month or two that's changed their perspective. Tell me more about this Page of Swords Tower, the Moon. Either, okay, so I'm seeing two different scenarios here. For some, they know that you're dating somebody new or that you're going to be dating somebody new, a king of pentacles. Something was revealed to them, whether it was revealed through another person, like a mutual friend, family member, or through a dream. Could even be psychic communication for some. But something was revealed to them, and they're jealous and they're worried about you dating somebody else. For others, I feel like maybe they went and dated other people and they got their bad karma. Those people treated them the same way they treated you. And now they know what it what it feels like. But something was revealed here. Tower and the moon. There is some some major reveal. Some some something shocking here. Let me see here. Have a pentacles, the chariot. Strength. Yeah, so they're going to come forward. They're terrified of rejection. They're having a lot of anxiety about it. But they know that you're their wish fulfillment, and so they're going to come forward. They're going to try to muster up the strength to, to come forward anyway. Hermit, Queen of Cups. Oh, 
lovers, the eight of pentacles, temperance. I'm hearing like I want to choose you now like I didn't choose you before but I want to choose you now I don't know if you want I mean I do feel like this person is changing but I don't know if you want to give this a chance again especially if they cheated but I do feel like something has shifted their perspective and so the things that they didn't see before in you they are seeing it now they are understanding it now It's like having the perfect opportunity right in front of you, but you're so focused on other things that you just can't see that it's, you, you feel like it couldn't be that easy. Like it couldn't be, it, it's almost like they were like looking for it somewhere else and it was right in front of their face and now they're really kicking themselves for that. They're like, why didn't I see it when I had it? How do you feel about this though? How do you feel about this? Yeah, I think you just... Above all else, you want to stay in your power. You want to stay strong. Because I think you almost see it as like a lost cause. No matter how much you love this person, you just see it as like... Like, you don't feel like they could be anything other than a king of swords. Eight of swords is like someone in a victim mentality or someone, you see how she's blindfolded. It's like she has all these swords around her. She can't see anything other than those swords. She just feels trapped. Five of cups is loss. I feel like you just, you, you don't believe that this person could ever change. You don't believe that they would ever it's, it's almost like you might even be a little bit afraid of this person. You're afraid of the damage they cause to your mental health. You're afraid of how selfish they be, how they can tell how, how selfish they can be, how heartless they can be, how emotionless they can be. It's like you just don't trust them. You don't believe in them. You don't feel like they can be anything other than the King of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, the devil. You, 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 yeah, definitely no trust there. You feel like it's always going to be a battle with this person. Ten of Cups. The Sun. It looks like this person wants to fight for you, though. Like, they're not... They know that you don't trust them at all, but it does look like they want to fight for you. I almost feel like you have a hard time even listening to your intuition with this person because they've caused so much damage that you don't like. Like you'll automatically think they're cheating on you even if they're not just because they already because they did that in the past. You know what I mean? Like there's there's this blockage there where it's like you're holding on to things from the past and they're also holding on to you. Okay, let's wrap this up. Let's get a few more cards here. Just, where is this going? So I feel, I don't know. I feel like some of you will, will give this another chance, but I mean, if you're in this energy group, I feel like you, you don't, you don't trust this person. Like I said, you don't believe in them. You don't feel like they could ever stop being selfish. Even if you do have love for them, you just don't, you just really don't believe in the connection anymore in general. I think they're going to try to come back and really prove to you that they have changed, that they are not a king of swords anymore, not a king of wands anymore, that they are a king of cups, that they are ready to embrace their emotions. Um, but make them prove it to you. You know what I mean? Even if you do give this a per the person another chance, like make them prove it. Don't fight for them. Don't message them first. Don't put yourself through all that. And I know you guys are probably divided. Like some of you are like, no, I'm done with this person. Like that's great. It's good to know that they want to chase me. It's good to know that they learned their karmic lessons and that they're the king of cups again. They're being their true self again. They're not playing those games anymore. Um, they saw the error of their ways. They want to change. They're trying to change. Like, that's great, but it's not for me. Um, there's too much damage there. For others, you're like, you know, I, I, I don't see how this person can change. I don't really believe in them, but I'll open myself up if they show me something, if they really prove to me, if they really fight for me and really prove to me 
that they've changed, that they're genuine, that they're emotionally available, that I'm important to them, then, then yeah, I'll, I'll hear them out. But I, I would, at the very least, I would um, make sure that they fight for you, though. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't fight for them. Don't try to convince them to change. Don't try to convince them to be the king of cups. If this is your story, if this person really is changing and they really want you to show it, then they'll find a way to show you. You know what I mean? Like, it might be terrifying, but if they really love you that much, they're not going to see a life with you. They're not going to see a life without you as an option for them. You know, they might be scared, but they're going to come forward. They're going to find a way to talk to you. They're going to find a way to come forward if you're that important to them. Yeah, you might have to reconnect with your intuition when it comes to, the, to this person, though, because there's trauma there. And this trauma might actually be blocking your third eye a little bit, um, especially when it comes to, like, picking up on their energy, like I said, because you might just be like, if they cheated on you, even if they're really working on not cheating anymore, you might just be in that mentality of like, you know, like constantly thinking they're going to cheat or constantly thinking they're doing this or that. Like there might be some, this trauma caused third eye blocks that need to be cleared up basically is what I'm feeling. Okay, let's get some final messages on this. Let's get some final messages. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, they want to build. I mean, they want to put the work in to have this Ten of Pentacles with you. Justice. I almost feel like you were this person's good karma, but they didn't think it could be that easy. They didn't think that they deserved it, and they didn't think that it could be that simple. You know? Like, they thought there's no way. It's like you just showed up in their life, and everything's good. There's like They, they kept looking for something to be wrong. There's like, there's no way it's just that easy. You know, they sabotaged it. And I feel like they have this new perspective now where they're like, oh, wait a minute, this was my justice. This was, this person was my karmic justice. They're finally listening to their spirit guides a little bit here too. Yeah, it took this ending for them to really appreciate it. They still want to offer something despite all the heart. Yeah, they know it's going to be, they know it's going to be a struggle. They know it's going to be a struggle to get you guys, because you're the empress and you're not going to, you're not going to stop being the empress. They know it's going to be a struggle to get you guys on a good path again, but it does look like someone here wants to do the work, like they want to put the effort in, so... Anyway, I'll put this out for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this resonates. And I really appreciate your engagement, you know, commenting on the video, uh, liking the video too if it resonates, sharing, subscribing. Um, I really appreciate the support. So thank you guys.